Hey my friends, welcome back to Falcons RC and this time we have something a little bit different here uh, we have tricopters which is pretty much what I've been doing lately uh, I kind of got away from the airplanes a little bit uh, just trying something different you know mainly because I saw some guys during a fly in I saw a couple of guys uh, flying tricopters you know and quadcopters uh, pretty much doing video recording you know putting cameras on them but I figure they were probably a little bit more to it the juice you know recording videos so I decided to build my own you know and and give it a try and see what I can do and these things guys are very maneuverable I mean they can pretty much do almost everything that a helicopter can do uh, the only thing that I can do with them is fly upside down <laughs> that's because I don't have collective pitch but anyway let me show you a little bit of what I'm what I've been doing lately with the multi rotors, I've been doing this for only about two months max. Uh, the very first one is this one right here. Let me move it away so you can kind of see. It. This is my very first tricopter, still in one piece. Of course, I already replaced the main plate because after a bunch of crashes, I finally broke it. So I had to replace this main plate. Uh, well, you may ask, you know, well, is it a scratch bill, you know, where you got the blueprints and all the stuff. Uh, well, I did myself, I did a bunch of research about it. And I uh, ran into, I think it's RC Explorers. Uh, I think this is his design, the play that the he uses. Now, somebody else has took this design and made it bigger, which is pretty much this one right here. And the one I'm using, the plate I'm using. Uh, I went looking for it again online, but I just couldn't find it, guys. So if you want to use this same template, I'm just gonna scan this one and put it on my website. But if you know where to get the original from, please let me know so I can change the link on the video. But anyway, uh, you know the main tem template right here, that's the plate, tricopter, RC Explorer design and was modified by somebody else. And the arms, uh, as you can see my main arms right here, the front arms, these guys are 20 inches long and the tail one is 18 and a half but it pretty much become 20 inches by the time you add the rotors set up you know and you can do a bunch of research guys you will find a bunch of videos about how to build these things so i'm not going to go too much into detail on how to build them i'm pretty much going to let you know what i'm using uh, the parts i'm using because my is considerably cheap we can say uh, we open this right here take the cap it off and we're going to start on the motors uh, I'm using Grayson Hobby's disposable foam 3D combo, you know. They are $20 to get the motor and the 18 amp speed control. Uh, so that's pretty cheap right there. 20 bucks, three motors is $60. So that's not bad at all. And moving closer in, of course, you're gonna need to go ahead and get you some wires, you know, some extensions pretty much, so you can reach your board. And you can have, buy this board. I got this one of, uh, I think I got it off Hobby King. Uh, it's like four dollars of Hobby King, or it's like ten dollars of eBay. But I mean, if you don't want to do this and you have a bunch of bullets laying around, you can do what I did on this one, uh, on this T copter uh, right here. Pretty much, again, it's the same concept. It's just not as big. It's just bullet connectors. Solder them on a copper plate. That that plate that you see right there, guys, is actually a copper plate. And it was a copper pipe, <laughs> but me and my, my, and my friend cut a chunk of it and you know made it flat and then you solder or bullets to it. And as you can see, they are a little bit far apart from each other because you don't. Uh, we, we soldered them tight to each other at first, but that didn't work because you need some room for the bullets. Pretty much, you see the, the head of the bullet right here. You need some room, some space between each other. So in that way we can still disconnect it and we can work on a motor without having to deal with the big frame, you know. Uh, that's the main reason for this, these connections right here. Or you can just solder all this together, you know, but it's just a little bit more complicated. So anyway, uh, well, let's keep showing you this one. It'll be easier. And from that point, you pretty much the most important part will be this board, uh, which this one is the KK2 board. Uh, Originally, I, I was using a, well, I was trying to use a cheap $20 board, but I never got it to work right, so I just went ahead and got me this KK2. I got, well, this this particular one right here is from Hobbykin. I paid $30 for it, uh, you know, from China, so it took a little while to get here. Uh, the one I'm having on my original tricopter, this one right here, 
uh, as you can see it's pretty much the same board but i got it for, from a u.s seller so, and i paid 60 dollars for this one i put the link on the description of the video to the ebay account i guess what i got it from when i got it uh it was just the board and now he's actually offering these wires right here that you are going to need mail to mail which are pretty much these little right here they now they come with it for the same price so that that's a plus right there you get 10 wires which is more than what you need you only need like four or five pretty much so that's a plus now i'm probably going to order another board you know and probably in the next month or two whenever i need it but anyway going back to price wise uh like i say i'm gonna back up a little bit over here uh pretty much 20 bucks on the motors uh, that's 60 dollars then you have that board if you want to buy it let's say of hobby king so that's five dollars or so 65 dollars then the board of hobby king you know 30 bucks 60 70 80 that's 95 dollars and the wires so that's pretty much 100 dollars right, right there guys and of course the props so you know by the time you get the wood props zip ties and all the stuff you're probably gonna have about 120 dollars on it so it's pretty cheap really uh you know i have a metal gear servo on the back uh moving on a little bit to the when it comes to the props uh originally i was flying this thing with uh all my props were rotating on the same direction which is counterclockwise like a regular prop but i decided to change them out just to see what was going to be the difference uh, having this one right here uh, counter rotating you know and turns out that uh, i don't really see much of a difference when it comes to the performance on the aircraft but i do notice that my servo over here which is the one that is compensating from the torque uh it does doesn't work it doesn't stress as much pretty much because normally we saw the counter rotating prop this motor was pretty much laying that far back to compensate for the torque you know now that i have the counter rotating prop and re tremens you know this thing is actually almost perfectly straight and I noticed also, and you know, I noticed to the this thing turns a, heck, a lot better to the left than it does to the right. To the left, I mean, I get it so fast. I mean, you get disoriented quick. To the right, you know, it, it you know, it, you you have to fight it a little bit more. But anyway, um, this right here, guys, I'm actually not flying it. Just like you see it right here, this goes inside my bottle ship that I built over here. We call it the frog. <laughs> Uh, I don't know how well you can see it because it's so dark in here and that thing is black so I'm just gonna show you some pictures of it uh, as you can see it looks pretty nice I love this thing guys it's very very stable uh, but right now I have the frame out of it because you see the frame right here I have it out of it because I have to do some work on the fuselage uh, I'm gonna make it look better uh, I think I'm going to I'm gonna change it for that black, solid black, into some sort of a gray, so you can see it better on the camera. So I'm probably gonna use like marine decals, you know, make it look cool. But anyway, my friends, uh, real quick right here too, you know, I've been doing, you know, I haven't been building aircraft, but I do have purchased some, you know, like as you see right here, I have the Fly Fly F100, which flies awesome. I love that thing. Uh, I, I'm flying it with an 80 millimeter fan. And I have the E-Fly F86, the fiberglass right there. Uh, nice flying plane too. I have a couple of crashes with it already, but <laughs> it flies good. And well, you know, I, I haven't done much building rally lately. I've been very busy doing some other stuff. So anyway, guys, so thank you for watching, my friends. Uh, hopefully, you know, like I say, you know, soon we're going to start getting more active, you know, on the videos again. So Okay guys, so thank you for watching, subscribe, see you next fly.